Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah. But for a start show, remember everybody, you can always support the twins <laughs> at officialhorsetwins.com. Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt or hat, maybe a white privilege card, maybe some beard products. Use discount code Chinese virus. Me and my twin here get you 20% off. Yeah. And we're back on the road, too. We're going to Texas. Got some new shows coming. We got some new shows coming. Go to we're Hulk. going to Dallas. We're going to San Antonio. Got a bunch of dates coming up in uh, Indiana, but they ain't live yet. But Milwaukee, right? Yes, yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, I said Milwaukee. Yeah, HawksTwinsTour.com. Oh, tickets. that's in Wisconsin, huh? That's yeah. the other Indiana. All right, but anyway... <laughs> It's having a good old fashioned hearing up in uh, <laughs> up in the Senate. Yeah, yeah. What was it, Congress? It's all the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing like good old fashioned hearing, right? And uh, Matt Gates, yeah. I always want to say uh, call him Gats, but it's Gates, right? Yeah, it's, it's Gates. Matt Gates, right? Matt Gates, yeah. And uh, he had a question for um, you know the military officials that was there regarding critical race theory. Well educated man, I might add. He, he studied at Columbia and Princeton. Yeah, the general, right? Yeah, the general, man. Yeah. Highly but, educated. All right, but this is Ivy League school. Those are supposed to be the smartest people on this planet. Supposed to be. Man, I'm smarter than most of them people, and I went to an online college. <laughs> yeah. And that's saying something. This is the exchange. And in my more recent discussions with those officers, the number one issue that they raised to me with concern, often unable to speak publicly for fear of the type of retribution that Lieutenant Colonel Lohmeyer faced, they say that your stand down regarding extremism did not help our military, it hurt the military. And I, I want to share with you that perspective, that it caused service members to otherize one another, it impaired group cohesion. And interesting to me is that I've heard those sentiments most frequently from units that are majority minority, uh, that that this was not particularly helpful. So I'm, I wanted to give you the opportunity to maybe share with us more specificity regarding the definitions that seem to be a challenge when Ms. Hartzler was asking questions. How should the Department of Defense think about critical race theory? Um, sure. Um, first of all, on the issue of critical race theory, et cetera, I'll, I'll obviously have to get much smarter on whatever the theory is. Um, but I do think it's important, actually, uh, for those of us in uniform to be open-minded and be widely read. And the United States Military Academy is a university. Uh, and it is important that we train and we understand. Uh, and I, I want to understand white rage. And I'm white. What? And I want to understand it. <laughs> so what is it that caused thousands of people to assault this building and what? try to overturn the Constitution of the United States of what America? What caused that? I want to find that out. Crazy I want to here. maintain an open mind here, and I do want to analyze it. It's important that we understand that because our soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and guardians, they come from the American people. No shit. So it is important that the leaders now and in the future do understand it. I've read Mao Zedong. I've read, I've read Karl Marx. I've read Lenin. That doesn't make me a communist. Yeah, so what is wrong with understanding, having some situational understanding about the country for which we are here to defend? And I personally find it offensive that we are accusing the United States military, our general officers, our commissioned, non-commissioned officers, of being, quote, woke or something else because we're studying some theories that are out there. That was started at Harvard Law School years ago, and it proposed that there were laws in the United States, antebellum laws prior to the Civil War, that led to uh, a power differential with African Americans that were three-quarters of a human being when this country was formed. It's in the past. Civil War and Emancipation Proclamation to change it. And we brought it up to the Civil Rights Act in 1964. It took another 100 years to change that. So look it, I do want to know. And I respect your service, and you and I are both Green Berets. But I want to know. And it matters to our military and the discipline and cohesion of this military. And I thank you for the opportunity to make a comment on that. Man, you crazy as hell. You see Matt Gates' uh, Matt Gates's, uh, face when he was shaking his head? <laughs> I could read his mind. <laughs> he was like, I know you're a general and all, but man, fuck you. <laughs> white rage. What is hmm, white? I never heard of that shit. <laughs> white, white rage? Only white people 
Get pissed off, huh? Get pissed off. Black people don't get pissed off. Just white people. White. <laughs> That's crazy as hell, man. All right. He's already using critical race theory. That general. He yeah. just used critical race theory. White rage? Yeah. Um, also, he says he needs to learn more about the theory. It's a theory. It's an educated guess. We yeah. don't even know if it's true. It's a, a theory is an educated guess. <sighs> yeah. It's kind of like the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. You can't prove it. It's just an educated guess. You know, the Big Bang Theory is like, how's everything here? Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, a bunch of gas, some rocks came together, and boom! Made all the solar systems. Yeah, it's a hunch. It's a guess. It's a theory. Why you would teach a, a theory? A theory doesn't need evidence to back it up. <laughs> yeah, it's a theory. If you sit down and ask any scholar that studies critical race theory, they will all give you a different definition. They will not show you not no evidence of where they applied critical race theory because it's just a theory. Yeah, that's not even something you can apply to everyday life, and yeah. they can actually show you where there's racism or systematic racism. Yeah, they can't show it to you. But let me say this. Yeah. Okay, so he, he makes this political. Yeah. He brings up, he wants to know why a bunch of people stormed the Capitol and tried to, what did he say, overthrow the Constitution? And the government. That's yeah. what a general said. Yeah. What weapons did these people have? I didn't see any rifles. I didn't see any knives. I didn't see no pistols. But you called, you said what they did that day. They was trying to overthrow the Constitution and overthrow the government without any weapons. I actually seen the police that was there. Yeah. They was actually waving the people in. A majority, th the, uh, the major reason why that occurred is y'all's lack of security. Yeah, that's why it happened. You know why yeah. it happened? That's why it happened. Lack of security. Yeah. If if they were armed, yeah, I can see where you say this is insurrection. And they tried to overthrow the government. I didn't see any weapons. You want to call that an insurrection? Yeah, I he called I it. He called it white rage. Yeah, I wouldn't call that an insurrection. I can see how you would call it that. You know what an insurrection is? When President Trump had to be taken to his bunker and the National Guard and all these soldiers was around the White House to protect him. Yeah. I would call that an attempt at insurrection. Yeah. How about that? What happened in Seattle where they burned down the police station and formed their own little small city? Yeah. I would call that an insurrection. That yeah. would have been a better use of yeah. an insurrection. Those yeah. people that went and did that, and I'm not standing up for what they did, those yeah. are just pissed off people. Yeah. It turned out mostly peaceful, and it turned into a riot. Yeah. Just using your very own language that y'all have been applying for the last year or so. Yeah, but they, they tried to overthrow the Constitution with no weapons. Yeah. And overthrow the, That's what that goal was. Yeah. That general is applying critical race theory. Yeah. Mainstream media, they're already using critical race theory. When he said white rage, like there was only white people there and only white people experience rage, that's critical race theory in that's, itself. Yeah. You're looking at everything through a racist lens. Yeah. That general is racist. <laughs> Every comment he just made was racist towards white people. Everybody experiences rage. Everybody yeah. gets upset. Yeah. Not just white people. Critical, That's what critical race theory is. Yeah, critical race theory teaches people to judge people by the color of their skin. Yeah. It teaches black people that you, can, you can't be so successful because of the color of your skin. Yeah. And white people have a head start in everything in life. And white people have an advantage because they are... I guess superior to blacks. Yeah, that's why Matt Gates brought up this question, and that's yeah. why that it lowers morale. Yeah, especially in the military. Yeah, when I was in the military, when we both were in the military, our drill instructors told us the first day, "You're no longer black. You're no longer white, Latino. Everybody in this squad, everybody in this platoon is green. We are one color. We all yeah. bleed red." Yeah, and you know what's funny? The general said he was offended by the question. Yeah, I'm offended you said white people experience white rage. I mean, imagine being called to Congress to, like, testify and answer questions. Yeah. And when they ask you a question, mm -hmm. you're offended. Keep in mind, this dude is a general in the military. <laughs> you're He's offended. Well-educated. He's Princeton, a Columbia. He's supposed to be a brilliant intellectual. Yeah. And look how dumb he is. <laughs> you know why? Because he's using critical race theory. It's dumbed down his thought process. He actually just... Use critical race theory to say white people experience rage like no other race experiences that. Yeah, and uh, and all Matt Gates was bringing up firsthand accounts with actual troops, officers yeah. in the military, and he put those concerns to him, and that offended him. Yeah, wow. So I find it offensive. <laughs> A general. you just that grandstanding. That's all you're doing. Yeah, you're playing politics because we're under liberal leadership. That's yeah. all you're doing. Yeah, and... um. And and you, he said something about being de uh, 
they are accusing them of being super woke. Yeah. I mean, y'all ain't woke. Check out this damn recruitment video for the army. Yeah. First of all, before this video even starts, look at the like to dislike ratio on this. That says it all right there. Where are white people at? Here's one. Okay. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot Missile Defense Systems. It begins in California with a little girl raised by two moms. Pause the video right there. Oh, with up, two moms. I don't want to misgender anybody. Yeah, bring it back up. <laughs> I don't want to misgender anybody, even a cartoon, but I see a man and a woman. <laughs> That's what I see. All right, so I guess, you know what uh, I find bizarre in um, gay relationships? Even though that's supposedly two women, yeah. there's always one that wants to be the man, <laughs> and, and there's one that plays the role of the woman. Yeah. It's crazy how that works, right? That's funny, huh? I mean, you're in a gay relationship because we, you didn't want to be with a man. Why are you with somebody that looks like one? <laughs> I would get with a real super hot, sexy chick, man. Yeah. Why well, I want to get with a woman that looks like a dude? <laughs> If I want to build a dude, I give it a dude. But hey, <laughs> it's just a joke. You ain't got to get offended. I'm just hey, pointing something out. Hey, Kevin. What? Either you believe in the Constitution and freedom, <laughs> or you don't. Go ahead and keep rolling. <laughs> Her name's Emma, huh? That's a nice name. Yeah. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin, I also marched for equality. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Think I've been <laughs> this girl has got white privilege. <laughs> a typical this child. This girl is got playing the violin, and she's doing ballet, and she's uh, uh, interacting with protests. I remember I wanted This girl is privileged. <laughs> I remember when I was going to school, I wanted to play the saxophone, but we didn't have the money for it. I couldn't even afford the mouthpiece to go in my damn saxophone. I had to wear the same clothes every day. She said she claimed that's the typical childhood. No, man. My mom and daddy couldn't even afford a flute. I had to drop out. <laughs> typical? No, you speaking from privilege. <laughs> but it's not white privilege. No, it's just not privilege. No, yeah, I'm just, just privilege. 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 Nose, no color. Yeah, go ahead and keep You come up from a privilege. Yeah. Background. Right. And you just throwing it all in my face. <laughs> shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> all right, man. Woke piece of Spending shit. Spending freedom from an early age. Marching, huh? She when I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident that left her paralyzed. Snapped the shit the up. Doctor said she might never walk again. But she tapped into my family's pride to that, get back on her feet. The big ass woman. <laughs> at the altar to marry Look at them mother. guns on her. That's a with such powerful role models, I finished high school hey. at the top of my class and then attended UC Davis, where I joined a sorority full of other strong women. UC Davis? I mean, feminist. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life, a sorority girl stereotype. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women. First say, what the hell? But what had I really achieved on my own? Look at the guns on her. One of my sorority <laughs> sisters was studying abroad in Italy. <laughs> Another was climbing Mount Everest. I needed my own adventures, my own challenge. Man. And after meeting with an army recruiter, what? I found it. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. Man, cut this garbage off! I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord. Yeah. And I answered my calling. You did, huh? Good for you. That's and, some woke shit right there. And the general talking about they ain't woke. <laughs> Y'all ain't using <laughs> I mean, politics. What does it matter how many moms or dads or. I mean, what does it have to do with trying to recruit people to got, serve the I, country? I got two moms. I got two dads. Who, who cares, really? I mean, what does it have to do anything? You're seeking. When you um, try to recruit people, you should target it towards the people. A, a demographic, people with, with strong leadership skills. Yeah, very, you want leaders. You Very athletic, strong, mentally, both physical and mentally. If you don't, if you yeah. don't do that, you're wasting your time because a lot of people's going to get in there in the service and they're not going to like it and they want to yeah. get out. Yeah. You need tough people. You need tough people. You need leaders. You need leadership 
qualities. Yeah, I'm not saying that, you know, Emma, you're not tough or even if you're real, but <laughs> she's not real. You need to recruit a certain demographic of females and males, both from black, white. It doesn't matter what your race is, but you got to be mentally and physically tough. How you was raised has nothing to do with it. Yeah. The color of your skin has nothing to do with yeah. it because as soon as you uh, join the service, we are all one color. Yeah. Doesn't they, matter. they already teach that. Yeah. And uh, you know that general brought up an interesting point. Mm -hmm. He was like, um, what's the harm in studying critical race theory? Because he's read, uh, you know, Marxism, mm -hmm. um, all this communist stuff. What's the harm in that? You, that's actually, you're comparing a theory to an ideology. They're, they're not even the same thing. You, a theory is just a hunch. You're studying an ideology, Marxism, yeah. communism. Yeah. They're totally two different things. Yeah. You're, you're playing with critical race theory. You're playing Russian roulette with the military. Your uh, critical race theory is yeah. teaching people to judge each other by their skin color. you dumbing down your own critical thinking skills and, by looking through a racist lens. Yeah, and just throw your logic right back in your face. What's yeah. the harm in that? What's wrong with being well-read? Yeah. Well, why don't you keep... Teach something that's everybody that agrees is horrible. Yeah. White supremacy. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Everybody's well read. Yeah. You don't teach white supremacy because it's garbage and yeah. it's gonna poison people's minds. That's yeah. why you don't teach white supremacy. That's why you don't teach critical race theory. You're yeah. poisoning people's minds with propaganda and it's bullshit. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. You know what? You're a general. You're supposed to be smart in this. I'm some just average intelligence black dude on YouTube and I'm smart in your ass. Yeah. You a general. Yeah. Harvard, I mean, Princeton and Columbia, and you don't see the harm in applying a theory that's based on a hunch. It's not based on evidence. Based it's on not, skin color. It's not based on facts. You can sit down with 15 people that, that knows everything about it. They give you 15 different, different definitions, and they will not be able to sit down with you and apply that theory, that hunch, that educated guess, and point out what's wrong with this country. Yeah. What's wrong with this country? People have a lack of uh, ambition. People are lazy. People don't want to work hard. People want things given to them. Some people need more opportunities. Some people need more opportunities. He, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier. He said um, he wants to know why that happened on January 6th. Um, it has nothing to do with race. Yeah. It has nothing to do with rage. It's just a bunch of people was pissed off yeah. being called white supremacists. Being, and for you to come out in front of everybody and say white rage? That's the first time I actually heard that. What if a uh, what if a uh, what if a uh, what if a white man, a white general comes on there and say black rage? I see black rage every day in Chicago. Yeah, I see it all the time. Yeah, but it's a racist concept to, to generalize any demographic of people that way. What mm -hmm. if a white man comes out and say black rage that's in the streets of Chicago? They'll be called a racist. You are just as racist. You are racist. You're playing politics. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it that far. He's not racist. He's just a dumbass. That, what he said was racist. Yeah, what he said he, is racist. But mm -hmm. that don't necessarily mean. You see what I'm saying? doesn't necessarily mean. I just think it means that he's a dumbass. Well, no, nah, he can't be a dumbass, Key. This dude graduated from Columbia. And well, Princeton. it's one thing to learn, like, uh, graduate from college and stuff. Mm -hmm. It still don't give you common sense. You can be book smart and all that, mm -hmm. but still be a dumbass. Yeah, maybe you got no common sense. Maybe he's a race traitor. I don't know. He's a dumbass. <laughs> that was really stupid. Hey, but I tell you what, General. Thank you for your service to this great country. I wouldn't salute that. Oh man, no, he's he's still in the military, man. You got to salute. Him. He's well, going. He's going to mess up the military. <laughs> Take that sloop back, man. He might be serving the country, but man, he needs to grow up. <laughs> and you got all that, you got all that salt and pepper. You up there behaving like a small child. Yeah. How are you gonna Oh, sing? I'm a, I'm offended by that question. How are you gonna sing a lot of demographic of people, white or black or whatever, and call it something that they only have one a quality of experience and rage? That is one of the most racist things I've ever heard of. Talking about how did that happen at the on January 6th at the Capitol? You know how that happens? Identity politics. Yeah. <laughs> Playing the that's race how, that's, Race that's, hustlers. Yeah, race hustlers. That's, that's why you're still talking about it. The main reason why that happened was a lack of security. It's almost like they wanted it to happen. <sighs> damn. I'm going to end the show on that. <laughs> that was a damn good show.
Michael Lindell, true patriot. He needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing, built a great company, great products, have seen rock bottom, have seen the worst. He ran through drug addiction. Yeah. I mean, this man has accomplished so much thing. He's the epitome of the American dream. He worked hard, has a successful business, great products. And just yeah. because he supported the president of the United States, yeah. they've taken him out over 20 stores. They're banning him on social me media. Yeah. He's having a tough time even marketing his products. Yeah. In this country, he's a man of principle. He has employees. He's got a great product. Mm -hmm. And just because he has different uh, political opinions, big tech wants him to go away. But we're not going to let that happen yeah. on our channel. They, they want to crush this business, yeah. too. So support Mike Lindell. Go to MyPillow.com and use discount code HOGSTWINS. Get up to 60% off. Yeah. We take care of our patrons in this country. Don't forget, go to officialhorsetwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhorsetwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese Virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.